come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, <laughs> movie review, and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday. Thank you for listening. You're probably wondering what that is, but first of all, I want to introduce the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. <laughs> Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by... Uh, BB? Yeah. <laughs> Sean, what did we watch tonight? Tonight we watched 1986's Wes Craven's <laughs> Deadly Friend. <laughs> oh, wow. You just did it all right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I have no follow up. No, we need to know exactly where we are. Man, we've done a lot of Wes Craven movies, haven't we? Have. We've done more Wes Craven movies than we've done John we Carpenter do. movies. More we can do. I th- yeah. Oh, by, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think so. Well, Wes Craven's like a wildly inconsistent. Filmmaker, right? I would. That is a better way to say it than I than maybe saying like he has different interests that he goes to and makes I, good movies. Wildly would, inconsistent, maybe a good. But also, he. I think we established this when we talked about him before. He had like monster hits in three different decades. Yep. Yes. He's and a yeah. horror icon. Yeah. He he yeah. he reboots the genre every decade. And guys, maybe this is why the horror industry is where it's at right now is because we don't have Wes Craven to come West give Craven us a reboot. Like, yeah. I mean, that is a possibility because yeah. he fucking did it a yeah. few times. Yeah. God bless him. And he also failed spectacularly. I was going to say he also a few had times. Some major <laughs> But he took <laughs> the <laughs> swings. He always took the swings though, right? man. I guess like, is that we're saying about him. He does like, you know, well, let's try Vampire in Brooklyn. We haven't done that one on oh, this we, show. We, need to. we also haven't <laughs> done The Hills to. Have Eyes either. Yeah, The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. Yeah, because there's yeah. a, those are classics, you know, that right. established him. Although there's The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, yes. which, which might be right? one of the, yeah. yeah. that was, Oh, shit, that was the year before this. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, because I was thinking this was his first one after A Nightmare on Elm Street. Then, was there some, like, chiller or something or other? Like, uh, it's a lot. TV show. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he he'd done Swamp Thing, which we did. That yep. was 82. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, before that, obviously, Last House on the Left and Hills Have Eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what did we, we did? We did. Movies. And then, yeah, we did Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. My Soul to Take. My soul to take. Uh, we did that. That was... Not his last. That was second to last. Second to last. Yeah. 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 We, did yeah. we did. We did. People four, under the stairs. Scream four and people four. under the stairs. Yep. Ugh. You yes. hear they're remaking people under the stairs. Shocker. Blumhouse. Yeah. Fuck. I will that. not. I will not be seeing. I it. do not want to see <laughs> no. that movie. What? Is I mean, but they are going with maybe the um the thing that I've kind of always said, or I think we've kind of always said: find the movies that weren't so great and remake those. Yeah, yeah so instead I of guess remaking the good that. ones. So yeah. maybe maybe leave they the go- can do something good yeah. with that. Leave the good ones alone and give other ones another try. <laughs> right. Yeah. So maybe yeah. this is the best idea, but I considering just, it's source material, it's hard to be motivated to go see it. I exactly. Don't know, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It might be you know how like the Suspiria remake was like nothing like Suspiria, but right. it, but like a good movie in its own right. Yeah, but it's its thing. It's yeah. its own separate thing. Maybe that's how people under the series remake will be. It'll be maybe. so different. You know, you know Fingers that it'll crossed. be a, Is Jordan oh, Peele producing. Yeah, yeah that's the Jordan. That's yeah. gonna be okay. uh, Monkey Paw and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So, yeah. Okay, okay. he's not directing. It'll be no. twenty minutes yeah. too long then. So. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. Uh, but we we covered the original movie. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so uh, this I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is his first like studio movie, right? Because everything it, else mean, is basically is. independent or New Line Cinema, I suppose. Was, right? Yeah, but that's like line, a mini. A, yeah, it wasn't he was a mini, were, ma- a mini major. Not, not even not that then point. they were. No, they were just like no, because it's the house yeah, that Freddie built, yeah, so it was yeah. on its way up at that point. You're right. Yeah. So this so, is like Hollywood beckons. We'll give says, you some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you some money. What do you got? And they came up with. A deadly friend. Which, this is a weird one. It's a weird one because they didn't really want it to be a horror movie. This is set out to be like a PG, uh, a PG um, um, coming of age, more or less. Kind who of love who story. wanted to do that? Wes Craven and the writer, because this movie changed a lot in post production, mm. based on the studios going. You need to add six more scenes of gore in this movie because the studio, when they hired Wes Craven to make this movie. Didn't know who Wes Craven was. What? They didn't until. So he had a good agent or something. I mean, why the fuck he must they... have at this point because they don't look at resumes. Af- or... Well, after the movie was made and they did test screenings, they did a test screening based on. Um, uh, they gathered a bunch of uh, Wes Craven's like core fandom to watch this movie. People had seen his previous movies before, and the fandom was disappointed 
and what he had made because there was no. It wasn't a horror. Yeah, it wasn't a, a horror movie. Of horror yeah. No, yeah. right. No gore at this point. Yeah. And the no studio, for hardcore horror movie. Right. I'm and sorry. the studio I'm sorry. was like, who, who didn't know who he was <laughs> after a Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, How did like, they not know who yeah. he was? I know because that's the thing. Nightmare on Elm Street was huge. Yeah. I would be in, as incredulous as you are, but I've heard enough about studio people who don't know shit about the people they're hiring mm-hmm. that I believe it. Um, and when they uh, finally figured it out, they're like, hey, you have this following for this stuff. All right, we need six more gore scenes. To play into your following. Into this movie so to play into your following. it as a Wes Craven movie. Yes. So he's, um, I also read somewhere, like he was, uh, I mean, I guess they were all the guys that we think of as horror, you know, the horror fan, uh, the horror heavyweights of the 1970s, mm. right? Which Craven is among. Like each one of them has that movie where they try to say, like, I can do something other than yep. horror movies, you know, like because uh, Cronenberg, I mean, it was like after the fly, right? That mm-hmm. he started going like, I can do M. Butterfly and I can do Dead Ringers. Carpenter yeah. did Starman. That's mm-hmm. right. PG rated. Yes. Right. This is uh, what and that was kind of what Craven was going for. It's like, I kind of like this Cooper to be more of a Starman yeah, type yeah. of thing where it's not necessarily built on horror, but more of a, a story between... A young boy and his okay, dead so robot what? girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> remote control girlfriend. Um, okay, so I noticed <laughs> in the beginning uh, credits, it was based on a novel. Yes. Which was called... Friend. And do you know anything about this novel? Is this more like a young adult kind of... Well, was I mean, it Friend? Like, was it an acronym? No, no, not oh, at all. But okay. that is a fair question. Well, that's question. a stupid title. I'm sorry. It, it is. Could, they need to put a little more effort into it. Yeah, than uh, yeah. the novel by uh, Diana Henstel... Uh, the the novel friend um, more so ba- more so what he wanted to make which is more of a like I said more of a uh, a, a relationship story between the the genius boy and the girlfriend who dies that story is the same and everything but the horror elements and her her uh, killing rampage not so much part of the book. More, really? More figuring out. It's more of a relationship story in the book. It's like a VC Andrews story, huh? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Less oh, that's ironic because yeah. there's a tie to that in uh, in this movie. Um, yeah. Well, first of all, so um, the writer. Yes. Did she write the the novelist? Did she write take a pass at the script? No. This was all adapted by Bruce Joel Rubin, who we would know from. The what we were talking about earlier, ghost, ghost, and, but also other ones. <laughs> oh, uh, Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder was the Some one I was great nineties movies. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, Deep Impact, wow. right, Ghost. Yeah. Stuart Little too, because you gotta make you gotta make some money somewhere. <laughs> gotta get that vacation house. Yeah, didn't yeah. 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 do Stuart Little one? Did he co-write? Or? He wrote it. He yeah. wrote. Yeah, Stuart yeah, that was. Guy. Yeah, he wrote the the last one. The yeah. last. Uh, so from my the, life, my life. We just talked about that. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, he had a few. From the writer of Ghost comes Wes Craven, <laughs> Deadly Friend. I love Indeed. it. Both PG of them. rated, because uh, it does <laughs> feel like coin, a movie. <laughs> yes. It feels like a kid's movie with a really bizarre. Yeah. It does. Holly said like, and I was feeling it too, yeah. but she put words to it. The first like 10 minutes, I'm like, this does feel, you said it feels like Mac and me and yep. it totally does. Yeah. Yep. And it just has that weird 80s juvenile mm-hmm. vibe to it that yeah. it makes me a For little. Sure uneasy it's not you quite know? like the spielberg um, no suburbia no that no. one feels faker very, than that right, yeah. no spielberg always felt a little more a uh, little more wholesome and a little, you know lived not, in yeah. yeah yeah a little more maybe realistic or idealistic mm-hmm. but the, yeah. yeah but this was um uh, far different from that yeah. i would say yeah Okay, well, and this so, is filmed on the WB back lot, so it yeah, stars hollow. It stars this hollow. all takes place <laughs> yeah. in, yeah, yeah, all the houses yeah. you'll remember, yes. um, that 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 neighborhood that is very familiar if you've ever watched anything from the uh, 70s, 80s. That was filmed on that back lot. Well, okay, CW. Mm-hmm. so yeah. so Wes Craven gets into this, and he's yep. like, "This is going to be my my kids' movie. I'm going to broaden my horizons and make this touching story." Yes, touching. Touching. So <laughs> they were going for grabbing am, story. Yeah, well, <laughs> turn to grabbing that, pinching story. So I'm I'm guessing then that the opening scene of the movie is an addition, right? Because yes. that's the only way that can that we could say this isn't you know right more of a th- uh, yeah it establishes this as more of a threat than okay. anything else. So what what's uh, what what's going on here? In the opening scene. How are we? This is pre-title. Opening scene. We get a uh, um uh 
a burglar. I mean, he, he's looking to Jack. He sees a person in a car. He's looking to rip They're it a off. They're at gas station. Yeah. 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 So a random truck stop. And uh, so he goes in to, to, to uh, go through the purse and everything. And a big mechanical hand comes out and grabs his fucking throat. Uh, Johnny Five is alive. Yeah. And he's going to kill people mm-hmm. at this point. And so he is strangled. But then he sees, you know, him, the adults coming and he lets him go. The so robot does. Right. Yeah. So you're kind of left with a little mystery because you don't see the entire robot of like, ooh, what's going on here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the robot is a main character in this movie. So. Uh, BB. Uh, yeah. As and this comes out of the like. Intro. First scene, right? You got a homicidal robot. That's what we're establishing, right? Mm-hmm. That this robot, homicidal, will... vo- uh, homicidal robot, and pixelated view yeah. of the robot. Oh, right? that Old okay. Terminator ish. W- the first time we get the like the robot vision and it's pixelated, we're we are watching this on a streaming service. I was like, oh no, because I thought the streaming service was like <laughs> shitting oh, out. No, for like, down, yeah, you know when you like <laughs> signal drops and the quality drops. That's what I thought was happening. Then it like, dropped at the perfect time. Yeah, but yeah, I'm glad that they stopped doing this at a certain point because wow, my eyes could not take it. Yeah. it was. It was painful. It was a yeah. lot. Yeah. Extreme pixelation and like a red kind of I, I tint on it. I never understood that. The, like, uh, I mean, a robot wouldn't see as well? Yeah. 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 Right? It's like it, it does a bunch of... Robots I, they, they are always want, doing stuff, but they can't see. Their blind is bad. They want you to yeah. know it's different, that a robot sees yeah. different. Right. It ends up being like a robot be, sees worse. It should just be a camera. Yeah, yeah. Be a right. Camera. Like, uh, like Terminator figured it out. It's just like yeah. it's yeah. the same thing. Just put red over it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the indicators. overlays yeah. that was cool. Yeah. And then That's the next fine. thing is like Predator. It's like okay, right. he sees your heat. Okay, right, I get right, this. right. This right. Is cool. Not this. Like, yeah. oh, it's got it, this is advanced <laughs> AI. It's got a shitty view. And, like, yeah, it sees everything in like eight bit fucking yeah. pixels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no one always killing everybody. To kill yeah, that's like it's just that's like how hippopotamuses work, right? Like they can't. They are super blind. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Like you know, they kill more people than any other animal in Africa, they right? Do, they yeah. are the most deadly, one of the most deadly animals in the world. Just and it's like, because That's a zebra. It's because they are very territorial and they're blind. Yeah. So they can't see anything, so they, they just have, attack everything. They do have very tiny eyes. Yeah, as they big can. As they and are. I hear they're hungry, <laughs> hungry. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how this robot works. It can't see that for shit, true. so it just fights everything. <laughs> Describe for me this uh, friendly, cuddly robot which BB? we've established in the open Opening scene could it possibly is, kill it's you. It's a Johnny Five, like it's, with yellow yeah. covering. Yeah, but yeah. that yeah. hasn't come out yet, so they're not ripping off Short Circuit, no. right? That's no. the same no, no, no. year, right? But it's got the triangle wheel system, and like, yeah. and yeah. I mean, it has a round head that like it really yeah. much looks like if you were. I mean, it, well, they've it looks designed like the, it looks Bumblebee. Like that, it looks like that robot toy, like the little like its stomach is like a computer. You know what I'm talking about? What no. the fuck was that? It was like an know. 80s toy. Oh you look God. it up. Yeah. It, it Teddy feels, Ruxpin. No. Robot but it no. Feels, it's like the 80s version of the Bumblebee Transformer, okay. basically at this point, but really like Talks like down. it too, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so how, does it, how, how does it talk? <laughs> it sounds like a gremlin, and it's speaking like Sims nonsense language. It like, is, but what makes it so fun throughout the first half of this movie is that it has a reaction to everything. Yeah. Every single word or comment that the humans make, it has... Okay, I remember that. <laughs> What's it called? What's yeah. this toy called? Oh, shit. Yeah. I remember that. It's yeah, the yeah. play school oh, uh, yeah. robot. Yeah, yeah. It's would, like the robot yeah. learning robot or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has like the robot. round. It's like a yeah. pad I mean, with a robot yeah. Yeah. head or like something. Right, right. and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the arms and everything. That's, I remember that. That's what it looks like. That's like an early <laughs> iPad right there. Yeah. Right there. But, uh, but but it, it interacts and it has a reaction to every single thing that happens in its life. It's, and so it's it constantly does, talking in the background, it sounds like which a is Mogwai, great. Yeah. yeah, sounds like a Magua. Yes, which I'm sure mm-hmm. uh, Charles Fleischer. Did, do we know for sure? Because I know Howie Mandel had some voice work on the original Gremlins and everything. Hmm. Did, yeah, do we? Did. I've never checked the credits. Did Charles Fleischer, like, have it voice in work Gremlins? as well. Yeah, because there I, were a bunch of people that contributed. I've never looked to see. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know, he, 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 who, fra- who framed Roger Rabbit? You know, right, yeah, because like yeah, there's some of that yeah, voice yeah. work in this as well. And he's in A Nightmare on Elm Street. He's the, yeah. sleep, the sleep doctor yeah. in A Nightmare on Elm Street. So, <laughs> um, Okay, so we got a cute, cuddly robot. That's always learning. He said always. it's always learning. Mm-hmm. So always I learning. love this. But apparently it doesn't learn English ever. I did look up that at some point after they were like, the title friend really doesn't, we're just going to call it artificial intelligence. Then we're going to call it AI. And then eventually they were like, okay, how about just deadly friend? Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, apparently that was a thing. So so this is, right, a prescient mm-hmm. movie because mm-hmm. and very yes. of the moment because it's oh, an yeah. artificial intelligence mm-hmm. movie uh basically going like uh, we can't trust these things because they just work on some kind of logic and they will deduce that eventually I have to kill you right because or, that's 
Yeah, just and the they will learn that the off switch does not matter, and I will keep going. <laughs> I will learn a way to deactivate your off switch. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's never addressed in the movie. Just always like, how come it won't respond? I'm pressing the off button mm-hmm. uh, multiple times. To, it's a deadly yeah, friend. Because it keeps learning, like the Terminator. Mm-hmm. Um, Indeed, which also came out two years prior to this. So yeah. There's a few robots. Kind of, I mean, we're always cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're, we're, yeah some are always cool. But this movie, right, is about a kid. Well, what, is he college no he, no he's, he would be no, 10th he's grade, a doogie but he's, hauser right but he's yeah. smart enough where he's in college at the what's the polytech, school, polytech but he's yeah. teaching he's teaching on his robot <laughs> that i'm sorry that i didn't expect that scene because yeah. when he's they, when they said he was there made it sound like he was invited to study there because he has such advanced technology that the college was kind of be like hey you can come study and work on your project here no, sort but, of thing but then he's giving a lecture to a whole lecture hall no he's yeah. like pretty genius because he's you know he's been studying the the body and the brain in right. order to create better computer chips in order to have bbb you know ai advanced technology and, and learning all the but time he's also so. a surgeon yes, yes. kind of yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah at this point he's and he's like and he's brain. like what 15 yeah like, yeah so this is a yeah. frankenstein story yeah. you've got really, the yes. driven really dedicated is. scientist yes. who's blinded by the pursuit of what if he could yeah he didn't stop to wonder if you should. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, like what Poor Things that's coming out. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. kind of like another yeah. Frankenstein story. I know. I want to see that. I want to see that too. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's in the air. Yeah. And I was the only person in the in the, uh, the freak show that recognized this kid, uh, an avid watchers of Little House on the Prairie. I saw maybe like three episodes of that. I know yeah. the what's his name, the main dude. I can't even Michael remember. Michael Landon. Michael Landon. Yeah, Michael Landon. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And his Melissa Landon's Gilbert. dad. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Melissa mm-hmm. Gilbert was in that. Yeah. Uh, right. This was uh, Albert Ingalls, played by Matthew. <laughs> Liber Good for show. him. What's Le, his name? Le, Liber, Le, Le, Labor two. Labor two. Yeah. Labor two. Is, we yes, laugh, like but he yeah. probably gets good yeah. rituals. Well, so. yeah. he. I looked him up because I'm like, well, did he do it? And his IMDb says his most prominent film role was Deadly Friend, and oh, he has yeah. since continued to work. But he is a voice actor in many of your favorite video games. Oh, nice. Oh, there, there you go. go. Good He's, for uh, him. Still good, out good work there. if you can get it. Yeah, still good working for him. Um, nice. Okay, so he and his mom, because this is an 80s movie and they all kind of start off the same, they're arriving right. in a new town because uh, he's going to school. What yep. does mom do? Mom, it seems like she's... She's like a receptionist. Of some sort, yeah. yeah. I think she works at the same place that, or around the same, the college. She works at the college, she works I think. She the college, yeah. yeah. And they're moving into a new house and they have very interesting neighbors. Yes, they because do. I think the idea is that they're scraping by, right? Even though he's a genius, eventually that'll pay off. He's been given a scholarship to the, but they're living pretty down to the wire, right? In a nice certain, house, yeah. Right, yeah, well, but yeah, the neighborhood's right. gone to seed, right? Yeah. Who who Spence lives across the street? Uh, uh, the old lady, from Elvira, Goonies. something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, her, yeah. I forgot her. Uh, yeah, the mother from Goonies. Name. The mother from Goonies. It's, uh, uh, Anne, from the train. It was Anne Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, she was the mother in Goonies, and she was uh, the mom in Don't Throw Mama, Mama from, from the, the train. train. Yeah, and this, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right, I think this was maybe before Don't Throw Mama, or same year, mm-hmm. but. Um, and Goonies was the year before, and I think she died early, and that's why we haven't had a bunch of mm-hmm. Anne Ramsey movies, but she made an impression in the movie. She, she was sure there. She really did. Yeah. And really she, did. her scene in this movie has become a very famous internet meme. Yeah. Yes. I didn't realize uh, until tonight that it was her. <laughs> I didn't yeah, either, was yeah. Again. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll address that, too. Okay, so, uh, so she, the old crone lady lives across the street she right. hates all kids okay she this lady everyone. did nothing so this is wrong Michaela. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> so Michaela this lady comes did to nothing defense. wrong she has a, a chain link fence around the yard with a padlock on it and they're acting like she's some crazy paranoid lady seems pretty normal to me you just have a fence with a lock on it. it's not like she has a full-on you know watchtowers and shit right. and spotlights it, it, it's pretty normal yeah, it's she a, does it's though because she has an alarm system that yeah the which watch is also, lights the, if you fuck alarm. around and go beyond the fence <laughs> that she is yeah. constructed yeah. that says says do not come yeah. in here. I, yeah. I also have a motion light at my house. Yeah, yeah. And, right. Like Colin, you have a whole I don't want to say her name, but she'll tell you if you if you, you know what's coming in. You, know, right. you, got, a whole, you got a whole protocol You're set more up for that. Than yeah. This lady. Yeah. Turrets, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> like Okay, you make a good point. These, I just need the yeah. double barrel shotgun that I answer the door with. What are you kidding Yeah, doing? that's that's a little much. Yeah, but don't pull a gun on some kids. No, that's no. That's a bit much. Yeah. And no. also give them their basketball back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, I was hoping she kind of like, shoot it with a shotgun. She, but she is prolonging the problem by hanging on she to the is, basketball, yeah. whereas if she just gave it back, it would be over with, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, but like, she's enjoying but, it. Yeah. That whole, she smiled and yeah. taking the basketball yeah, from She is kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, he, but if kids keep hopping my locked fence, yeah, the, I'm sorry. I can't be responsible for what happens to them when they keep trying to break and enter into my house. Like, mm. they are committing a crime here. They break into her house or try to multiple times in this movie. Like, yeah, just a mess with her. Yeah. Is. Yeah. Fucking kids, mm-hmm. they get everything that's coming to them. Kids and robots. Again, we're saying she's justified because <laughs> yeah. she gets attacked by a robot yeah. from her perception. <laughs> yeah. I will, uh, if, if some kids came into my yard with that, I'm definitely shooting it. Like, that <laughs> seems like the logical response. Colin, to me. you wake up. Yeah. Your alarm is <laughs> going off. And there's a robot. And there's a robot coming up, your, uh, coming up your front yep. steps. You're right. I'd shoot that angry fucking thing. What would it you has do? Red glowing yeah. eyes, Sean. They, they has- red <laughs> glowing eyes. Yeah. And they establish that she's like the neighborhood paranoid lady. So even when she does call the police, they don't take her seriously yeah. because they're yeah. like, oh, she's just being crazy mm-hmm. again. It's like, no, she's being terrorized by the neighborhood yeah. kids and they're robots. And now a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Which no one would robot. believe if you just called Ex- that into the Exactly. Police in so what was she supposed to do? You know? True. Yeah. Again, no fault. Yeah. I don't blame her. Yeah. Uh, there's also the meetup with the neighborhood uh, bike riding kid that they're the kid. What? Oh, paper is he the boy? paper oh, Tom? boy. I thought you were talking about Tom. the game. Tom? Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom the paper boy. Okay, we'll get to the roving game. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say the only character in this movie that I'm rooting for. I think just because I feel like he's going to be insane after this movie. Is <laughs> but over. he tries to make the right choice a million he times, does. and the other guy won't let him make no. the right choice. No, the other guy comes into his room at six thirty in the morning. Yeah. He's like, "Hey, I need your help to revive a dead girl." Right? <laughs> Come with me. For science. Yeah. For science. It's for science. For science. Yeah. It's science. not for weird sex stuff. It's for science. Yeah. <laughs> not. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Probably might get yeah. there, but not yet. It I know, this, totally. This get movie there, like yeah. totally avoids that. I can't believe uh, that. Yeah, completely. I cannot believe yeah. he didn't fuck that robot because. But I think everyone was a little too young to go that far. I mean, Chris, uh, Christy Swanson was 16 when she made this movie. So. Yeah. yeah. And I think if if the original idea was that you were basically making a kid's movie, yeah, so yeah. maybe, maybe that's why idea. it kind of sidesteps that whole right. idea. So Christy Swanson is in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Her first uh, movie. And so she's playing who? Sam. Samantha, the girl next door from Paul when they move in. Mm-hmm. And they meet cute right off the bat. But. 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 There's some shit going on at Sam's house. Mm-hmm. Is that the one we hear when when they first move in? There's like shouting going on at the the neighbor's house next door. Mm-hmm. I and think then so. It's like yeah. you hear something break and mm-hmm. whatever. And yeah. So she's the uh, abused kid on the block. Yeah. Because yeah, this is a whole. This is a Beverly and her dad situation from it. Yes. That yeah. whole thing. So. Yeah. We were saying there was a VC Andrews connection uh, because Christy Swanson went in to star in. Flowers in the Attic. Is she, yes. Was she in Flowers in yeah. the Attic? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was. I've never seen. I've never seen that. You should watch it. You should watch should it. I? Yep. I yeah. Okay. It was yeah. weird. It's real weird. <laughs> oh no, I believe it. From what I know about the story, <laughs> I would believe it. And she was the first uh, Buffy the Vampire yep. Slayer. Right. And in a I great think, movie. Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing. It's like everybody still calls her Buffy. I'm like, is yeah. that uh, so? She hasn't been upstaged by TV Buffy. Sarah Michelle mm, I, think, I, think, very, I think they're two very separate things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're very different. Yeah. Mm. Um, the uh, okay, so this is the three. Like they're going to be the unit of friends, right? Yeah. That mm. uh, the neighborhood kids. The key three. <laughs> don't, don't you start with that? The key three. It's not four. So it's the key. Yeah. Core four. If you include BB. <laughs> so there we go. We got well, the car four. They do go. So I was. They wait, all go trick or treating together. Trick or treating. <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna have a Halloween scene, and I love that. I, know, I was right? like, Very I was like, this is delightful. Yeah. <laughs> I was disappointed that we didn't make it to, to Christmas because I we know. also worked in th- uh, a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. 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 Well. We're almost there. Um. Okay. So the first act of this movie feels like it takes an hour. Right. Was yeah. I wrong? Yeah. And this is like the no, party. Yeah. It was right. like. You should be at this point, like in twenty minutes, but this movie takes an hour. It's a problem because, like, the audience can see the writing on the wall, so it makes it feel longer. You yeah. know, it's like, okay, we know where this is going. Let's just get mm-hmm. to where it's going to be. Right. This is probably in uh, because of, I mean, studio interference. The WB studio head was the one who came in and was just like, we need to reshoot this and everything. So if it feels a little disjointed, it's probably mm-hmm. because of that of what they added later, um, based on what the filmmaker and the. Sh- Screenwriter, we're trying to do at the beginning of this movie. So I only knew this movie uh, prior to tonight, right? I had seen it, you know, in the 80s. Mm-hmm. And I remember a lengthy Fangoria article yeah. 
about its making where they left out that whole thing. I think that it was supposed to be a different movie. Right. However, tonight when I was just looking stuff up about it, it has since been released on Blu-ray and apparently there are tons and tons of deleted scenes and there's pictures that have been released over the years oh, that wow. show scenes that don't exist in the movie and yeah. fans have been clamoring to find out what these uh, never going to get it. it I think they are. Just, yeah, because on they? the IMDb, it lists Deadly Friends alternate scenes. I saw as that an entry. as a separate they, credit. They do, yeah. uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know if they're. Is that is that something from somebody? Is that something somebody has seen? Yeah, cause because because I see the descriptions of everything. The, but yeah, is the that trivia being, section? Being, but is that being told them. to someone, or has these people seen it? Because from what I hear from, I mean, Scream Factory put out a Blu-ray in 2020 or 2021. Didn't I believe they have all that on it. No, I don't oh. think so. Like, because there was a lot of, and they even they released that statement where they say we tried to look for the extra footage or the deleted footage from this. Sorry, we couldn't find it. As fans, we wanted to see it too, but we could not access it. Oh. So. I think I saw a different video company was listed to so somebody yeah, else in like maybe. Australia might have put it out and recovered it since. I don't Weird. know. It was only three years, but who knows? Apparently, some of the evidence of uh, the the, of the an entirely last movie. version mm-hmm. exists. Yes. Um, this happens to Wes Craven a lot. A lot. It does. <laughs> we keep talking like, more than any West other. Craven. Or is it just because like he's on the radar, so we know when like his movies get like completely gutted and retooled? <laughs> it does, um, but it does seem to happen to him a lot. Yeah. So I don't know. Does that talk to his quality as a director? I don't know. I mean, I still don't have like a great. I don't know. It depends on how you feel about the movie that we got versus what he wanted. Yeah. Because if we're getting a lot of movies that were not good, but he's like, I wanted something else, then, you know, maybe he was on the right path and the studios are just like, eh, we're going to mess with this. Yeah. I so. get the vibe from him that he's just so nice. I was going to say that I, I he, think he doesn't a, advocate yeah. for himself. Enough. I was going to say, I get, the, I, I get the feeling he's a pushover. Yeah. And that yeah. he was like, whatever, as long as this movie gets made, if that's what they want, whatever, let's just get this. Like, that's yeah. the vibe I get. But mm. this is I was conjecture from thing. like what I know about him, you yeah. know, and just like, the, just like the way he talks about everything. Like, I've never seen that man raise his voice ever. Like, in no. exci- like in excitement or anger or any emotion. He's right. just very yeah. level all the <laughs> time and so i could totally see him just being like it's not worth the fight no just, and he's very yeah. accepting of yeah. like this is just what it yeah. is and you know that being yeah. said sometimes if, it works out really well and i enjoy that yeah. sometimes it doesn't and there you go that being said i feel like he's rolling in his grave with all the scream news that's been coming out lately like i just can't imagine he would stand for actors being treated the way they've been treated the past couple of years with well, his franchise you're probably you know? right yeah yeah mm-hmm. Sarah michelle Gell- geller i think maybe we talked about this mm-hmm. on the last time we did a she described working with him as uh, like he was working for your college professor, you know, it was kind of and Christy sweet. Swanson yeah. on this one I guess, you know, she was hired it, again, it sounds like he really didn't have like uh, mm-hmm. a real strong decision making process right. you know, like she was hired and she said that, you know she felt the people on the set even though she was 16 treated her like uh, she wasn't up to the job and right. that got better as time went on, she said Wes Craven was a very patient man and he would, you know, give her, yeah. uh, you know, subtle direction to get scenes. What together. a saint! But then he I, seems yeah. like a patient man. Considering yeah. he worked with the wine scenes for so many weird. Oh, oh so good God. And their yeah. hands were always in fucking everything, yeah. right? But I heard the other side was Harlan Ellison, who is, you know, not the the kindest person, but he worked on Harlan a lot of those. He's a science fiction writer, but he worked on mm. the revival of the Twilight Zone, and mm-hmm. he complained about. Wes Craven just like didn't know how to direct at all and wouldn't be able to tell an actor like, no, you need to, you can't go top all the time. You got to bring it down. I think he made an episode with uh, Bruce Willis, maybe like back in the moonlight. Okay. I, I the doubt Twilight that Zone. man's accounts. <laughs> like, yeah, I, so that's why know, I don't know. You know, this is right. incredible to me. Just uh, see us 20 minutes ago talking about how he had horror hits in three different decades. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I don't think yeah. that happens by accident. I don't think you fluke into three you know franchises <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, how many of them did he write, I guess, was the thing. Because he wrote Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, that was his. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Last House on the Left. And uh, mm-hmm. I think he Hills wrote Hills of Eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. he wrote that too. He wrote the remake as well. Yeah, he it? didn't write Scream. It's funny no, that the most gross and brutal of his movies are the ones that he wrote. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's I think we said before. Yeah. Like, the thing that kind of, even the that original Scream has that kind of, a, there's a mean streak to, yeah. to yep. Wes Craven movies. There should be. Um, so... Uh, Okay, so these three kids get into adventures, which is basically plaguing the various adults in the movie. Yeah, um, it feels very juvenile. Yeah, 
we get the idea that this there's kid... always that side because like he's a genius and he's making artificial intelligence and everything. But there's always that juvenile side right. of that where you're just like, ah, they do. Where if nothing else, they don't know maybe the consequences of what they're doing at certain moments because they haven't had that experience that mm-hmm. would tell them that shit's gonna go wrong. So that happens a lot in this movie. Uh, BB is um, poised as a, right is poised as a threat. I guess or something. You know that um, because there is this uh, roving gang. He has moments of tough. robot rage. Yeah, mm-hmm. where his eyes go red. He usually has the yeah. neutral yellow eyes. It's always just like a, a second from killing someone yeah. until someone tells him to back off. Yeah, and so uh, accosted by the the bike riding street <laughs> tough street tough bike yeah, riding. They're, they're, they're they're, they're forty years old and work at the factory. <laughs> yeah, and then they're second yeah. shift. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, and then all after, mechanics. And yep. then after work, they harass the paper boy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Have a few road sodas on themselves. their way home. Yeah. Because yeah. their dad beat them up at one point, yeah. so they need to yeah. punch down. Because yeah. they were point. because they were all state in high school. And they, yeah. That's where they peaked. <laughs> <laughs> this is too close right. for us. We all know this person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, BB uh, crushes a dude's balls. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. To mm-hmm. basically get the other toughs to back off, man, mm-hmm. back off. He's gonna crush my balls. You know. Yeah. And Good enough reason. So he's established uh, that BB is a, a be, by being a robot. That, so the kid, uh, the Paul, right, yep. who built BB, basically treats the robot kind of like as a pet or something, and is always right. bringing yeah. it around with him wherever he goes. Yes. Um, yeah, don't do that, BB. No, BB, back off. Like, but also, BB's like, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Yeah, he's got a mind of its own. So it's not like Obviously. Chappie, where somebody's giving BB like you know amoral instruction or something like that. Right? Right? Well, well, <laughs> it's just that BB is, is such a trashy movie. <laughs> off on his I own, mean, making his <laughs> his own like I guess uh, like decisions. Of like, oh no, I'm gonna you know break that lock or you know yeah. do this thing, even though they they told me not to. So this, of course, uh, and we're we've also established that. Um, uh, Sam's dad is abusive. She has yes. a nightmare because it is a Wes Craven movie. This was a thing I remember for like every time you went to a goddamn Wes Craven movie, there were nightmare mm-hmm. scenes in mm-hmm. every single one of them. And only in a nightmare on Elm Street do they work. Otherwise right. they undermine the reality of the movie you're watching. Cause every yeah. time you see a character sleeping, you're like, eh. it's not real. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. What it's, are we going to get now? Not, it's not, I get it's a thing. But it's not necessary. Right. Yeah, neither of the ones. I no. think there's two in this one. That- also, is it just me or is Sam's dad just way over the top? It's, yeah, he feels like he is like, from like the Hills Have Eyes or yes. something. Like he, <laughs> he really yeah, does. He's a little. Yeah. I mean, this may go to the, the, the fact that just like, uh, you know, maybe Wes Craven doesn't know when to tell people to come down from. Yeah, that's down. what, when you said that earlier, I was like, well, kind of well, like yeah, Sam's but, dad. Right. <laughs> Sam's dad kind of fits into that because he, he is very because over the top. We, a cut to a scene where it is a nightmare, but he's just like wide eyed and sweaty, yeah. leaning mm-hmm. over his daughter's bed going, you told them all lies, didn't you? <laughs> and then, then no subtlety. That, no, no uh, subtlety. She okay. breaks a fucking vase yeah. and stabs him I was like, in the I'm heart. okay with the dream scene in this because she literally taps a keg. Like, she yeah. Like, yeah. stabs him with and the fucking she, vase and right. it's like shooting out. Like, Bleeding all over him. Solid, this is one of I'll the, take it. <laughs> I'll take a dream sequence for that. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's he's over the top like a lot in this movie. Yeah, very true, yeah. Even like later on during his like death scene, he's... It's yeah, I I can't even explain. It's it is very hills have eyes. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that is a very good way to put it. He feels well, like a side like, character in there. Caricatures, and this is the thing yeah. that kind of is amusing to me. If Wes Craven wanted to make a movie about like you know the romance between these kids and the adults are really the bad guys, right behind yeah. every yeah. house. Right. You know, this is his thing. It, it looks yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a picture perfect uh, neighborhood, but still, all these people still a great but, idea. Just but they're like, just yeah. all caricatures. He's yeah. the mm-hmm. abusive dad. Yep. To ten, she's the and everyone seems crazy to know neighbor. It. That's the to thing. Ten. Yeah, everyone seems to know he's abusive. Like it's a neighborhood yeah. fact. Like it's even brought up in a yeah. conversation. Yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah, I want to run him over with they're a like, car sometimes. Like, but he's uh, my dad. This isn't right. And I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Do something about it. <laughs> right. She needs an adult. Yes. Like <laughs> fuck off. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah, because she has a bloody nose. I think yeah. at some point it it's was like the eighties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I. <laughs> not, I'm, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying like. <laughs> no, I guess we didn't have the yeah. balls to call the cops at that point. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Really. Did they're just uh, it's movie movies aren't like real life. It's, yeah. uh, so, what? <laughs> um, this is the first time hearing of this, Colin. <laughs> what say you? Uh. So, tell me about 
the romance subplot. <sighs> There's not much to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they do like each other, like, you know, off the bat as they introduced as neighbors and everything. And they, the, they're kind of hijinks together. It goes by pretty quick because it shows them as a group, but you know, between Samantha, Tom, Paul and BB hanging out. This pictures of them later on. They, you know, the a time passes. It shows that they've hung out. They're going out for Halloween and everything. So they are a core group and everything. But it just um, seems it like they're friends. I mean, you could swap yeah. her out for uh, uh, Tom, and in, in the dinner scene or you know whatever. Right. There yeah. was one scene where I think he kissed her. He did. That yeah, was yeah. so not like accentuated that I actually only remember seeing it. I actually wasn't like. Engaged in right. it, like, oh, wait a second, wait a second. I think he just kissed her in that mm-hmm. last scene. <laughs> you know? right. uh, the fateful night, I think, mm-hmm. when she, I think so, goes she, home. You're right, yeah. So they do like it is, but you know, you can't just have them making out right off the bat. So it's got to advance. Yeah, it's I build. didn't it's feel like there up. was like no, an no. Actual I, no, I agree because it does go by quick <laughs> yeah. to establish that. Well, and also they're kids. Yeah, so that's yeah. how I took yeah, it. Yeah. They're, 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 just, they're just friends. They're so they're kids. not gonna be like, Wah. they're not gonna be going to like lovers' lane and everything. I mean, right. you know, yeah. they, they're playing basketball. Yeah, and then right. You know, they have their first kiss, and it's just sweet and innocent. Like, it, right, it is a younger, you innocent. Know? Kind yeah, of time. it just doesn't yes. match with their actual ages, especially if this kid's like and fifteen with, and in college, right. and not with what they do later. I don't. Right, think. it's just it. They feel too old to be acting this juvenile about probably. it. Probably, you know? I right. guess to be maybe this, that's to be what. This yeah. Yeah. Innocent yeah. Juvenile. yeah, yeah, probably. That's true. yeah, a fifteen, that's probably a it. kiss, and that's it. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. that's why I was like, does he even notice her? He's yeah. like so into his like you know computer brain <laughs> stuff that you know. But I mean, I think that's part of his character is he's just he's so he's nerdy. He's so yeah. focused Did on his work. Did you not see the scene where he's yeah. at the kitchen table with five books yeah, five open books to chapters? Um, and in case that's how you know he's a nerd. And he literally when when she's like looking at all the stuff in the desk he's like this is the first time I've had a girl in my room <laughs> like, yeah he's yeah and while she's in there in case you weren't clear he's an academic nerd there's an Albert Einstein portrait and an MC Escher drawing yep. thank you for clearing that up the only thing that was missing was the Vitruvian man fucking on the wall that's all he needed yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate uh, the, which should have been on there. It should have. Yeah, I, I was anyway. waiting for it, yeah. and then it never Consi- happened. Yeah. Considering the subject matter, yes. Yeah. Uh, the set director was like, I got this, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. So we've described for you the first hour of the movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then the fateful night comes, and what happens? Her abusive dad murders her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On Thanksgiving. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. It is. Because she's constantly trying to hide the fact that she's living a life yeah and basically because well, she's she has to yeah she has to yeah, yeah. you know uh, and you see subtle hands he like, gets so mad because that first night when she like goes over to say hi or whatever he right. immediately comes over and is like is my daughter here mm-hmm. yes yeah like he's psycho right and she's constantly sneaking back into the house yeah finding so she, the books she hid she basically back she's like i'm studying yeah he's an alcoholic she basically waits for him to pass out and then goes over to like the safe place yeah you know? right which yeah. is why this reminds me of beverly and her dad from it yeah mm-hmm. kind of, it's yeah. for sure Sorry, but it's also like it's the story like mm-hmm. we've seen yeah. it a few times yeah so there's that but there's one night where you know she comes home from studying and he's not drunk on uh passed down on the couch and so she's kind of looking for him and everything and he jumps out of a room behind her is like you whore <laughs> and he, mm-hmm. he fucking uh hits her a couple times mm-hmm. uh, and the last time he hits her and she is thrown down the stairs to which she hits her head at the bottom mm-hmm. and starts doing her seizure she, yeah she convulses and yes yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's gone. And there's the idea that he's going to get away with this because he's basically like, I told her to clean up her uh, stuff. Right. She tripped over it, fell down the stairs. Like, okay, so yeah, yeah. it's not suspicious at all. When, Although no. the, the when the neighborhood the medics knows. are, they're like, it looks like uh, you know, yeah. it was more than well, just a I'm fall. Just, right? I might as well have said she walked into a door. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And the so, neighborhood kind of know. The, the I'm sure the rumors around the neighborhood is just like he doesn't treat. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, them, just, like, I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just so mad at, at the mom at this point because they're out there by the ambulance. I'm like, you go fucking grab a cop and yeah. you yeah. tell him yeah. exactly what you know. what's going on. Right. Like, are, what are you doing? So there's a whole thing here where Paul has to get Tom uh, enlisted <laughs> Tom, on Tom. the side of. Oh, uh, poor Tom. We're gonna, we have, I feel so bad for Tom because Paul's in with like the 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 surgeon, right? right the professor, the surgeon. the surgeon. He's in the college, which is I think is like um uh, it's probably like a medical hospital that is also a teaching 
hospital that's got a college wing on it, which is where Paul is learning and everything. Yep. So there's surgeries and shit going on. And uh, Paul apparently, very Herbert West-like, knows more than his instructors because yes. he's figured out how to like tap a little bit of the brain and make a foot move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So well, a, fo- a foot move and then a foot <laughs> kick him in the fucking head. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So we know. Oh wait, but there's there there is a major scene that precedes this. I'm sorry that we completely overlooked this, but I think it's the Halloween night scene. Oh, and BB. Where they, oh yeah, because I almost uh, I right. keep I keep almost saying BB8. Yeah, 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 every yeah time. but no, we can't forget about BB because yeah. BB is a major character for the first half of this movie. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. well, and character. the second half, I guess technically. <laughs> yeah, but he's uh, the essence of BB. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the brain. Yes, <laughs> but as an actual physical object, he is big in the first half of this and movie, and he's. Murdered. Murdered. <laughs> he is going rightfully, down in the street. Oh my god! So. Yeah. I mean, circumstances yeah. come he together. Bro- he hacked into her lock and then broke into her yard. Right. Very he justified. He's able to undo a lock and get into. In, he into tests her all yard. the different combinations mm-hmm. in right. a matter of like minutes. They're going to go mess with her because they, yeah. you know, she stole their basketball and everything. Yeah. So on yeah. Halloween night, they're going to play a prank right. and ring her door. But everyone's ball. right. But everyone's too scared once to get the lock open, except for Sam, who's going to go up to the door. Mm-hmm. And knock, and that's when the entire alarm goes off. She mm-hmm. screams. She screams. Mm-hmm. Everyone hides. They're like, "Get away! Get away!" But not BB, because <laughs> even though he's been deactivated outside the fence, he wakes back up and starts coming in, going "BB," <laughs> menacing with his right. little beady that, red eyes and his claw hands. That's the AI like Prime Directive is like if your creator's in danger, you have to yep. like yes. stop the threat at all costs. Yes. You know? Right. I think they do set that up. There's mm-hmm. a lot of times when somebody yeah. costs. Paul yeah. and yeah. BB becomes like with the uh, the well, the, the bike. Yeah, I was no. going to say biker, yeah. but then I'm like, but they're on bicycles. They're, in, it's dirt bikes. No, no, they're, they're on dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. Motorcycles dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. They're on yeah. dirt bikes. Yeah. They? Okay. Yeah, There's they, a motorcycle. They, they just looked like there. they got off their shift at the factory. They just That's the like problem. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, they didn't look like a biker gang. You know? They are no. just strolling yeah. through the neighborhood at that point. They're just some blue collar middle aged men. Yeah. 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 Riding their dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. But Ann Ramsey comes out of that house, sees that robot, and unloads with both barrels and reloads again. Mm-hmm. She can blast the shit in a. I haven't cried explode. so much since Johnny Five died yeah. in Short Circuit 2. Yeah. Okay, it's well, intense. you say that, but it is an intense scene where yeah. the kids are like trying to restrain Paul, who's yeah. screaming. Like, yeah. Because yeah. his can baby is being murdered. Yeah. Murdered. Can murdered. you imagine how long he's worked on that fucking yeah. thing? They yeah. keep it in the house, bro. If it's that important to you, if protect not, it, if man. If not, cover up its. I have a problem with this robot in the fact that it's so much of its circuitry is out exposed to the world. Yeah. Now, I know that he is uh, an experimenter, an inventor, and that he needs these openings to, like, replace parts, upgrade, and all that shit. This thing is vulnerable. Yeah. 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 He's just letting it's it like, out into like the world. It's like C-3PO. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And yeah. Do you I don't like it. have mm-hmm. the program backed up on your exactly. Commodore 64 computer or whatever you were working on? This guy on isn't the... really a genius, so I'm sorry. He's, 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 level, he's yeah. lacking he's some still, common he's sense. He's still young. Yeah. He's yeah. a child. He's still yeah. a child. He's a yes. child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Um, I, but so, BB is I'm, murdered. But I'm so disappointed that we had a Halloween with BB going around with them trick or treating, and not one "Hey, nice costume" joke yeah. of someone looking at BB. I can't what believe what was we, BB dressed as. It just himself. Top hat, bat, and a bat. <laughs> what was he? Ra- he's ready to break some kneecaps if he I, has I, to. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was in. But I thought for sure I was like, "We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it." They always do that in these movies when you gotta disguise the foreign thing as like a normal kid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they didn't do sure. it. No. No, nope, didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, it's just a kid in a yeah. wheelchair. Yeah. It's like, oh, great costume. You look great. Mm-hmm. But no, the scene, this is a robot. The scene with BB's murder is echoed later on at the climax of the movie. And I thought that the scene of BB's actual shooting death yeah. was much more like a thing because they're yeah. screaming it's a big tears deal. like no yeah. oh, oh my god oh, yeah. and the music is swelling and it's like, oh shit, this robot's and he being is destroyed. murdered. But the later scene doesn't play like that. No. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get there. So, uh, uh, BB is cuter <laughs> and has been more interactive throughout the rest there of the you movie. Go. Uh, we, I think we had a complaint about that when we do get to a certain point that maybe the essence of BB wasn't as dominant in the no. new version mm-hmm. later on as he should have been. Just the claw yeah. hands. That's all we, that was all there. claw hands. Yeah. There yeah. should have been more vocalizations. But Yeah, because yeah. yeah. basically the girl's dead. You got a Frankenstein scientist kid. Right. He it's puts like, the he robot. Can't. It's brain. the love of his life at this point. Yeah. He's in, desperate. 
in her. There's like a whole uh, like 20 minute thing where they have to drug mom to get out. And there's a time when they're going to unplug her right. from that. We missed it. And so she's cold they and dead in the body. And we we're operating and we right, bring her back. Put chip in her head. They yeah. spend a lot of time on knocking mom out. Yeah, they do. Yep. Yeah. They do. I, I like would figure said. she would be more asleep by the before she was in the movie. Yeah. Because they end up like sitting down and watching a movie for like an hour. Yeah. yeah. It's like mom should be in bed. But she goes. She gets knocked out. So she's brought back to life, Sam is. Now, Robot Sam. Um, mm-hmm. We have to teach Robot Sam how to sit up. Robot Sam looks like Sam, except mm-hmm. uh, she's got dark rings under her eyes. Yeah. Well, I mean, the body, I think, is still a little decomposed. And or is decomposing. Which well, is I would think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know if there's anything in that chip that's going to be like... Telling the flesh to stay alive. Yeah, like, pump the blood yeah. through the flesh. Well, yeah. it does oh, because no. she starts breathing at some point when yeah. she does green, but, but yes. he can turn it off and like turn her back into a corpse. Apparently. Right, yeah. right, but is that a good thing? Right. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what does that do to the body? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. No, I, I feel like at this point we really just have to accept that we can't look for logic. Mm-hmm. No, and not at this point because that's a good point. when we get to yeah. a point where we're just. Br- <laughs> I put a computer chip on top of her brain, and now she's alive. Well, yeah. You know, there's only so much you can accept. And the one point. piece of BB that survived this massive gun down in the street was his brain. Don't yeah. worry, got the brain chip. We got it's the all brain. good. Mm-hmm. But yet, but yet she doesn't speak like BB until the very end. No, BB. She should have been doing it this whole time. Because BB never shut the fuck up before. Never. So never shut. Up. So yeah. it should have mm-hmm. been part of this. Well, I guess that was I, it. I was like, how much of the new, the reanimated Sam is Sam and how much is BB? I right. guess you're going with that thing that's like the robot is in forefront do you th- and eventually... Because yeah. it's got the robot brain, yeah. remember right. that do it's you, Sam. Do you think that there were BB sounds that were taken out to make it more horror-like? Because there's no way I could take it seriously if there was BB sounds the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm probably... Maybe? They're like, <laughs> oh, no, I, they're I like, like we have two notes. More gore, mm-hmm. less, less BB noises. Less BB noise. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm, I, I'll bet there were. You know, I feel uh, like they probably were. If, if you're, if they're worth their salt, they would have put it in there just to see what it looks like at a certain point and be like, "So we have this all this voice work mm-hmm. that we did before. What do you think with her running around for the last half of the movie, yeah. sounding like BB? She does, and it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Eventually, exactly. when she finally she starts doing she's it, like, BB. Yeah. <laughs> That's her rallying war yeah. cry. <laughs> she finally learns how to speak and yells in BB's voice. Yep. So BB has come back. Christy Swanson. And this is probably what do you think as about she's how she did? directed. She's doing the least. <laughs> I she's think she's not, doing, she's not doing, doing a lot. I think not a lot. I think she's doing all right though. But she's a doing, sixteen-year-old trying to be a robot-ish yeah. type yeah. thing. I think she's doing all right. This is how she's told to do it. I'm yeah. assuming right. they hired yeah. a mime coach to like. Right. Yeah. But yeah. it's like the stereotypical. Okay, kid. Pretend you're a robot. Yes. So yes. Stiff arms and yes. burr, claw burr, hands. Yeah. Burr, 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 she does like the claw hands. hands. Yeah. I think maybe went a little, felt yeah. a little too far. She's doing the Vulcan yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. That to felt like a up. bit much because you can't even bend your fingers if no. you're going. Yeah, yeah to pick not... things up. And so she's basically like a walking zombie, but she walks very like a robot. Mm-hmm. And it's just one of those things that, like, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to pretend I was a robot and did <laughs> pretty much this. But right. from a feature film, Maybe you expect something yeah. different. We can but- advance a little bit beyond that. Maybe BB, you know, recognizes the body that he is now currently in and mm-hmm. is able to be a little more fluid with that and mm-hmm. do some more things. Mm-hmm. But it's she not run, this movie. She can have a. She ends up running. It, it's almost. She ends up running like. This is going to be a deep cut, but it's the scary movie version of Nev Campbell running from screen. Oh, with the yeah, with, with the, the arms. Whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's you, that gotcha. version of that version. <laughs> okay, kind of like this. So gotcha. it's a theme with Wes Craven. <laughs> have you guys? Have you ever seen that montage of all the clips of Sydney just running away from conversations in the screen movies? <laughs> that's, that, that that's, like, that's what this feels like. It's like she she Sydney never just walks out of a scene in Scream, and once you notice it, you can't not notice it. <laughs> she talks to someone Michaela. and then turns around, like turns away from them and then runs away every time it's Trauma. fucking wild so it's, <laughs> it's very napoleon dynamite it is, it it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. yes New, her influence is yeah. never ending yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just run out of the room yes yeah. <laughs> well as the monster of the movie she goes on a killing spree starting with her dad she because her father yeah mm-hmm. how does she do it uh in a very um uh, i wanted more from this scene yeah, just considering it's her dad, it's kind of the ultimate yeah. at this point, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why she's dead. Yeah. But it feels like the like she, uh, Freddy Krueger origin story ish yeah, uh, at this point. Yeah, so apparently they have like a mega incinerator in their basement. It is the it's, furnace from um, Nightmare on Elm Street or nope. Home Alone. Nope. 
Yes, the but burbs? also the burbs. The burbs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The body, yeah. <laughs> and they have like Same a whole burning. stockpile of coal behind boards. Like, yeah. right? Like, what, what is this? this? Like, I know like these like houses science. are old, but this is really old. Yeah, yeah. Like, old coal chute. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, where are you? We're, we're yeah. in the middle of middle America. So she like, yeah, she like bends his wrist back, which yep. uh, pretty cool. I dug it. It was always cool. works. Yeah, rubber wrist, whatnot. But th- and then she starts to burn him on the furnace, and I was like, "Okay, I like where this is going." Yeah. But then she just like lifts him up and c- cracks his neck, yeah, and, and then drops him. Yeah. I kind of wanted him I to wanted like, more. start on fire a little bit. Like this guy deserves it. like a death. Yeah, you know? considering what he did and what he has done, yeah, he yeah. should die. And Paul knows that she's killed him because she he helps her bury the body in the. Coal well, he comes pile. downstairs and his head's in a fucking furnace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big key. Yep. But I don't, un- I don't fucking understand. You, you, the body's literally hanging out of a furnace, mm-hmm. and push instead of pushing it in. it in, he buries it in the coal pile. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are no, you just doing? Push it yeah. in and be done. Okay. And then, I thought the bones, he was okay. smart. Yeah. And then although he's been keeping the uh, reanimated uh, Sam in, in his attic or his basement he, or yeah. his outhouse or shed, a few places. Now yeah. he moves her back into her house because Dad's not there. And then uh, she, of course, then starts to go. That Elvira woman across the street took my fucking basketball. Mm-hmm. Right. So she no, goes no, over no, there. No, no, no. Just, and, real, and, just real murdered quick. me. Murdered me. Yeah. Oh, yes, murdered me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, right, right. She's Phoebe. She's Phoebe. Yeah. Murdered me. Just real quick. When he keeps her in the attic, there's like a silk nightgown. Did yeah. you think that was going to come into play, or was yes. that just me? Apparently, yes. it did ah. because there's a there's an image okay. of her in a silk nightgown, okay. looking all zombie like. Oh. With some huh. kind of crown thing on or okay. something, right? Yeah. Interesting. So we'll have to look that up. Wait, are you sure it wasn't from her Halloween costume you're thinking of? No, she had that a cr- was a toga. You know, she had the dark rings oh, okay, in the, okay, in the okay. shot uh, that I saw. Um, so, I, yeah, I just thought it was, they. I feel like it was in focus a lot for them to not use it. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense that it was deleted. Well, she goes and sneaks into Elvira's house and then delivers the coup de gras. The moment <laughs> the deadly friend has become uh, the, uh, legend for. The reason this movie has been on my list. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because of that one gif. The one gif where she throws a basketball at Anne Ramsey's head at the speed of light and blows her fucking head away. Like but the blows. scene keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. With her, with Anne Ramsey's. Headless body walking around. <laughs> Spewing, Spewing blood. blood. Yeah. It's fantastic. Love it. Love it. Fantastic. Love it. At this point, uh, Tom has Poor Tom. Tom. Poor Tom. Yeah. Poor sweet Tom. He's been through it. Yeah. Yeah. He's he, he just, a, he's passed out like three times. Crazy. He's tried to do the right thing a few times. He's going to be a mental and, institution. Oh, I can yeah. see in his he's eyes. The vacant look. be Amanda Seyfried in Jennifer's body by the end of this. Yeah. Yep. Tom is... Tom is the best actor in this movie. <laughs> He's doing good. Because right? every time like, I look at his face, I'm like, this kid is regretting mm-hmm. the moment he ever met this kid. Right. Like, right. I see it in his face. Especially yeah, I, because Paul like forced himself on him, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Paul came into his room at 6 in the morning and was yeah. like, help me. Yeah. Well, it was worse. He's like, you owe me. Yeah, you mm-hmm. owe me. You gotta get me. Ba- you bitch, manipulative yeah. motherfucker. Because mm-hmm. oh. it was your idea to have BB like open the gate and go in. Mm-hmm. So right, BB's right. death is your fault. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, he said, he's like, yeah. you said it yourself. Like, I'm sorry. Do you not control BB? <laughs> I thought you did. Right. <laughs> no, BB's. At a certain point, you can't control BB. I guess. Yep. So Paul now is going to go to the cops. He can't take it anymore. There's people dying. She's killing people. We're going to go to the cops. Tom. Sorry, Tom. Right, mm-hmm. Tom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a little scuffle and everything. He's like, I'm going to the cops. You know mm-hmm. why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to tell mom. <laughs> the right. dead woman in your fucking attic. <laughs> I like how he's ready to tell, but he's not ready to tell. Right, yeah. right. It's he's like, like no. you know why. Well, you tell your own mom, but you know why. <laughs> <laughs> he had that line, the the cutout, whatever, when, in the, when he's like, no, we're going to, this is how we're going to bring her back to life. And then it cuts to the outside of the house and you can just see him go like, you got to be fucking kidding yeah, me. That, that was great. great. That, was like, that was good. Yeah, That was hilarious. That was yeah. good. There are some, yeah, some good cutaway moments in this. Yep. Well, uh, BB slash Sam throws herself out the upstairs window in order to stop uh, Tom from going to the cops. There's yep. a big scuffle on the front yard. Yep. Uh, Mom gets involved. Paul gets thrown down. She's like, am I Sam or am I uh, BB? And then runs off into the night because I think the the cops are coming. Mm -hmm. They are coming. This is where, you know, uh, Paul pursues. They end up finding the biker dude again who, you know, confronts Paul. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you know, she comes out from uh, uh, behind a wall and they have a confrontation. This is where we get the shouting of the BB! BB! <laughs> she grabs and she, him and, and lifts him and into and the throws air. Throws him into a police car. 30 dead. feet, yeah. the cop said. She threw him 30 feet. Yep. Yeah. Kills him by throwing him onto a cop car. 30 feet away. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's dead. Yeah, because yeah. they always have that little trickle of blood coming out of their mouth. Yeah, yeah. A lot of well, bloody I mean, noses was... in this movie also. What? A lot of bloody noses in this movie. Yeah. yeah. A lot of noses. Yeah, noses. Uh, and of course, this leads to an intense uh, showdown where uh, all the cops are out in force, like going after this unarmed girl uh, <laughs> <laughs> who <Yep>. has <laughs> apparently killed people. Do they know that? It's what hard do they to know. know? It's hard to. I don't that's know the what thing. They that's know. that might be the only one of one of the interesting things to look back on is just trying to figure out who knows what when. Yeah. Because that is a confusing thing throughout the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Because he has Tom a dream. knows what Paul knows what the cops know. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially because we're considering, uh, like you said earlier, it's like who knows that her body is gone. Right. Like, right. They should be very right. alarmed that her body's right. missing. Right. And also very alarmed when they find her alive. So we don't know what mm -hmm. they know at certain right. points. So yeah. that is a bit confusing. Yeah. It seems like it's a small enough town that they may know who she is just on I think site. everyone knows who she is. Yeah. It feels like, yes. So it's like, oh my God, it's a dead girl and here she is and she's, <laughs> you know. Uh, she's, she's not dead. Yep. And so they point their guns at her and she has that moment. She's where, going back and forth between her blurred vision and, and becoming Sam again, which yeah. is weird. Like, I, I'm curious as if they wanted, if they were trying to say that eventually she would just I think come so. back to Sam. Yeah. Yep. That's why it's a tragic. That's what I figured. Tragic right. Ending. Yeah. Yeah. And so there was a whole, uh, and, but then she rushes it in with crab hands yeah. <laughs> and gets shot in the chest. Yeah. And bleeds. And dies in Paul's arms. Because apparently she can still bleed. Yeah, no, because I was thinking yeah. about that, too. It like, shouldn't be all coagulated and be course. done and not moving, yeah. yeah. And I think she does call him Paul, right? She does, yeah. She so does. that's like the human side is like, oh, so she dies as Sam. Yeah. Again. She dies as, she dies as Sam, but she is resurrected as BB. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... All right. All right. <laughs> So there's an end love the Terminator because the end of this movie. So we've we've had two uh, dream sequences. Yeah. There was the one with uh, that Sam had with her dad, yeah. and then there was another one where Paul is tormented by a ambulatory basketball that Slash rolls head that rolls into his bed, right. rolls under the covers, and then becomes a burned uh, her dad's head. Yes. And that was where I was like, well, you know, does she, does he know that she just killed someone with a basketball? But you're right. They all had something to do with the mm -hmm. basketball. And right, then there's right. the end, which yeah. I'm like, is it a dream or not? What happened? I don't know. Uh, uh, Paul see still seems to think he's got a chance of resurrecting her when he goes into, because she, she's dead uh, on the slab. They, uh, you know, put into the freezer. She's gone. She's dead. Um, doctors are done with her. And they uh, must know what's going on because they're like, this is going to be an interesting one. Right. Like, the, mm -hmm. it feels like the story is known at this point. Yeah, but it's Paul's not like, in prison. No, he should be in a, <laughs> or if nothing else, he should be in an interrogation room being mm -hmm. like, yeah. so you put a chip in a dead girl's head? Yeah. You stole a dead body. Right, yeah. We need to go back over yeah. the entire thing you just did. A lot of felonies here. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of felonies. He should not be loose. Yeah. Multiple. But he is. Which I, mean, I suppose lends to this is it a dream or not? But uh, well, up, yeah, and logistically, uh, nothing makes sense about this being real. Like yeah, the right. robot grew inside of her, <laughs> <laughs> so it can't. What are you talking about Holly? What do you mean the robot grew inside? Well, what, he, what, okay, what, so what, she's what are you yeah, she's in the refrigerator in the morgue. He pulls her out and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you home or save you, whatever the fuck he's asking. Mm. And she starts to melt. Like, it appears yeah. to like, oh, yeah. She, to she wakes up yeah. and it looks like she's like melting. But then something. She, like, okay, the skin she, is pulling away from her bones that are now robotic. <laughs> yes. and she emerges like evil BB. Right. She pushes the, up her the yellow sleeves. helmet. Is, yeah. is but she's got teeth. Her, right. Yeah. Yeah. Her, got, it's, yeah. it's in a, an advanced form of BB <laughs> <Yeah>. robot <laughs> that is coming out of her. So in order for this to not be a dream, we have to accept <laughs> that. She's still alive, and she, she has cocooned. She has an organic, an organic metal structure has grown within has her grown body. Within her body, <laughs> and he's not in jail. So there's a right. lot to accept. But you know what? I'm fucking accepting it. Yeah, I'm oh, okay. it. Like, right. it. When, when it happened, we're like, yes, yes, we accept this. I this need is what's this happening. to be real. <laughs> we were all for it. I yeah. think at the end, you just 
that's the that's the, the entire theme of this movie is you just have to accept it. <laughs> I, I, I think so. That's it. That's right. Paul, if Paul would have accepted that she was dead. Yeah. There is yeah, right. Yeah. I think it is acceptance and yeah. uh, acceptance and the characters yes. who refuse to do so. Yeah, and as, the as consequences of that. As, yeah, fall, as characters, did. they have to accept their consequences, their actions. As viewers, we have to accept this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Give and take. Yes. This movie has also a fascination with milk. Michaela, you want to... Wanna... Uh, how'd you feel about the milk? Uh, I in? mean, there was a lot of drinking it, dropped a smashed glass, it just... It splattered over... It splattered on oh, his face. That, that, yeah. And he didn't wipe yeah, it off. It's it off, but it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, he, it's, like, wiped his mouth. I'm like, it's on your it's eyes. On your, yeah, like... <laughs> that, what are you doing? doing? In your eyeballs. Yeah, I... No, just Michaela it, has a problem with milk. It's, um, I mean, yeah. at this show, we've had some tra- traumatic it's milk trauma. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. seen some stuff with milk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just I do like milk for the record. I just don't like seeing it <laughs> on screen all the time. Yeah. You know, and like yeah, when it's splashed on someone's face, it looks disgusting, and it makes me want to uh, never drink. You're milk gonna again hate my next movie, shit. Milk the movie. Milk. When I, make it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is that the Harvey, Harvey milk, milk movie? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It is about God. killer ambulatory no, glass of milk. Like I don't think he's. No milk flowing through the streets, yeah. murdering people. It's like the great. And it's great it's like, because the blood mixes with the milk. You know, just <laughs> the milk man. It's like the great molasses yeah. incident, but it's yeah, but yeah, it's people milk. Die in the milk. Yeah, yeah but, but, but so milk. Has, yeah. has it expired and congealed? Oh God. That's there, uh, okay, is it there's the a, stuff? okay, there's a start of the movie and then there's the middle of the movie it, when we may it, get to that point. So Holly. as the movie goes on, it congeals. It gets curdled. Yeah, progression. Oh, God. And then it can start, well, Holly, then it can start forming cheese. cheese. Cottage cheese. Yes. cheese. Yes. We've got like cottage yeah. cheese. And People things. are skimming the top of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. We, got, we got an idea here. Yeah. Copyright uh, 2023 Saturday Night uh, uh, 2023, <laughs> milk with an exclamation yeah. point. Yeah. That is uh. our, oh, it's going to be disgusting. <laughs> Yep. Well, we got to find a way to make milk an acronym for that. <laughs> Instead of a release date, it's an expiration date. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Expires. Expires. Yeah. <laughs> you, best before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, best before. There you go. <laughs> this movie. Best Are we before. writing this yeah. one yeah. down? Oh my God. We won't remember it until yeah. somebody listen, re listens this. Like, oh, yeah, we had that yeah. idea. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Expires <laughs> this Thanksgiving, and then you get a G- Godzilla versus the monsters thing going with like oat milk and almond milk. And <laughs> oh yeah, that, no, that, no, the Michael, that's the sucks. tag. The, you're, you're giving away the tag at the end of the movie where oh, all the other oh, milks come in. Nick, the Nick Fury of milks, almond yeah, yeah, milk comes yeah, in and yeah. introduces oat milk and rice milk. On. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, all yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we should do we, the that's, milk uh, cinematic. That's, yeah. the lactose that's my MCU. Yeah. The milk cinematic. The <laughs> lactose uh, initiative. <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, well, I guess that brings us to the <laughs> end of Deadly Friend. Yeah. Uh, we hope you stick with us so we can tell you whether or not you should watch it. But first of all, we are going to answer some of your mail. In order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. We would get him a cameo in the Milk Universe. Oh, he's definitely yeah. going to be in it. He's, he's going to be the Stanley of the Milk <laughs> Cinematic Universe. Oh. You'll see his cameo in every movie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I think we could. I'll bet he produces milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like a, it's like a green milk. Oh, yeah, man. I'll bet. Yeah, oh, we got the blue milk from Star Wars. We got the green milk from Igor. Yeah. Oh, I can't. It's minty. I, I just wanted to do a cameo. I can't. Uh, <laughs> we need to move on. Uh, okay. All right. Well, uh, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. On Twitter or X. At Sat Freak Show. Uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. And on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Okay. And what about uh, threads? Uh, Have we abandoned yeah, threads? threads were we on threads? We're still we on were. threads. Is threads anybody else us. on threads? I don't know. Have we abandoned X yet? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can't do that. But there's like, there's two, right? Well, there's three: Instagram, well, X, and Facebook. Are but is any? Getting, are we getting any traction from X? Now? Yeah, we get some. Okay. Yeah, and we, we've <laughs> had. We, shout out to Travis Legler who has tried to reach out to us on Threads. Okay. Oh. The, the one person who was like, well, "Thank well, you, you're sir. Here, yeah, sir. Appreciate so, the effort. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, now, of course, now I'm gonna have to start paying attention because everybody's gonna go ah. like, "Ah, we're on Threads." Mm-hmm. No, no, they won't. <laughs> 
MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, says, I believe this episode ushers in 12 years of this freaktastic podcast. Thank you, Colin, for slaying it 12 years strong, and everyone else for continuing the quest for world domination. Good journey. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to do that. Uh, 12? Are we at 12? 12 years. Yeah, we are. Are we 12? Yeah. 12 years. What year is it? <laughs> 2023. Oh, no yeah, because like the yeah. end, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I have no um, idea. <laughs> the uh, boy with the Jason tattoo says, I remember seeing Deadly Friend for the first time as a kid. It was a TNT staple. Let me tell uh. you this or that end scene when BB pops out of the body, scared the living <laughs> deadlight out of me when I first saw it. Mm-hmm. Also, did my demon lover steal the head pop from this movie? I haven't seen my. Demon. I haven't I seen, seen my that. demon lover. Now either. I'm interested, though. Yeah. That is with the other guy from Family Ties, <laughs> who they tried to make into a star for a while, and yeah, the, the, the one movie. My demon, lo- okay. Uh, Chris Huddleston writes in yes! and says, "Deadly Friend is such a great, terrible movie." <laughs> There it is. Yes, there yeah. is. Uh, Novato Judoka says, "I went into this blind, and all I can say is it was a." Bad movie gold. It was unpredictable and worth, and with watching so many movies, it's fun to be surprised by one. What a pass. Superman killing. Is he going to bang a robot? Adding this to the physical media collection ASAP. Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love no. it. Superman killing. When she dives out the window. Oh, yeah. right, right. Yeah, right, right. she does. She literally I got you, Johnny, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael Whitaker says Christy Swanson was the first actress to make me realize they don't actually cast high school ki- age kids to play high schoolers. When I saw her on the cover of Highway to Hell in the video store, needless to say, my reality was shattered a bit. Can we do Highway to Hell on this with no. Hell Cop? We haven't done that. I don't think so. Wow. No, Gilbert sure. Gottfried is Hitler. Oh my! The devil. No, okay, we have definitely okay, not. Okay, I want to see this. No, we wow. have no done that. Okay. Wow. Uh, C.J. Graham, who was uh, Jason in yeah, yeah, yeah. Part Six, is Hellcop. Nice. Interesting. All right. uh, no, we have not done that. Uh, Ragtime Rye. We've been saying huh? his name wrong the entire time. We apologize, How sir. Are we saying it. Ragtime. Oh, uh-huh. well, that's but common. it's Ragtime yeah. Rye. Yeah. Don't say we. Yeah. Okay, I have been saying his name wrong, and I apologize, sir. But he says, I love your podcast. I just watched Deadly Friend last week. Some memorable some memorable moments. Charles Fleischer, the guy who did the voice of Roger Rabbit, his BB is so fucking annoying, constantly <laughs> muttering Aww. gibberish. Yep. I love him. No. The eye-shadowed, remote-controlled, dead girlfriend, Christy Swanson, Mama Fratelli, spectacular yep. death by basketball mm-hmm. to the head, and finally drugging the mom's coffee with a shit ton of non-dissolving white powder in her coffee. <laughs> It's not great, but it could be a fun watch if you like silly 80s horror. Thanks for writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called The Prowler. The boy with the Jason tattoo also wrote in and said, The Prowler is an okay movie, but the officer guy looks a lot like Killian Murphy. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, there is the with the chisel. The crazy the bone structure, head. yeah. Yeah, he's the one you said look like a uh, puppet from uh, Team, Team America. America. Yeah. He definitely does. Go, um, that, that do the chin, comparison. That chin just couldn't do the be comparison. stopped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the week be before, we watched a movie called Split Second, and Bill Hainer sure writes did. in and says, in reference to your comments about snacking morticians, I thought the freak show would appreciate this TV tropes breakdown with examples of the sandwich eating morgue attendant. I love, love it. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you. We appreciate it. We did appreciate that article. Uh, Gregory Winter says I have watched this movie many times it's over the top crazy one of my go to movies I'm happy that you all recommended it and I love the podcast oh, thank you I think that part? took us a split, split second, second. Okay, that took yes. us all by surprise <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Appaliva says uh, okay so we posted a photo of uh, Rutger Hauer roughing up uh, Pete Postlewaite mm-hmm. and he says wow I just heard and saw Brian James and Harrison Ford's Blade Runner scene time to die <laughs> Looking at that, uh, Travis Leger wrote writes in and said the killer of this movie looks more like something that should have been in Mortal Kombat, or maybe the suit was repurposed from the Power Ranger movie that had Lord Zed and they just painted it and changed it. Kind of looked a little Lord Zed. Right <laughs> <with the Zed-ish. laughs> I'm sorry. Do you guys ever look at Lord Zed as an adult and be like, oh my god, that was like a Power Rangers villain when I was a child? Like the design of it is very like adult. He's a naked, muscly guy wearing like a metal cod piece. It, it really, yeah, he really it's is covered pretty in S and M. Like, mu- be, yeah. it's very Hellraiser for for uh, Power Rangers. I don't think I ever thought of it that way then. That's I, what I'm saying. I, As I, an adult, have you looked at it recently, <laughs> dude? It's it's very Hellraiser for a kids show. I'll go with that. 
All right. Mm. Well, we were talking on the split second. Horrors everywhere, even in yeah. yes. <laughs> It's basically, uh, Split Second is a buddy cop movie, and so we were talking mm. about other buddy cop movies, including The Nice Guys. Michael Whitaker said so. There was some talk of making a Nice Guys prequel, but yeah. for some reason, what gained more traction was a gender-swapped remake, which was going to be made a few years after the original. What the fuck? I'm always flabbergasted when Hollywood literally does the thing it's accused of by brainless chuds online. Was there a nice girls? They were talking about Shane Black's nice I girls. I remember vaguely. I remember really. Yeah, at huh. the, like for a for a hot minute, but hmm. then gone. Because that first one did so well at the box office. Steve Carney says, "I need to check this movie out. It's been on my watch list for a while. Well, you should, because we all recommended <laughs> Split Second. We did. We did. What a what a what a fun Venom movie <laughs> <laughs> with the monster with a helmet <laughs> visor and everything. Wow, what a we what." I love movies. Yep. Well, <laughs> before we... I love, I love what people try to do. Before we tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, we should take this moment to tell you that, oh. yes, it is that time of the year oh, again where we want to watch is. movies that you suggest. Oh, yeah. We're right. going to watch four Listener movies pick. that you choose in <laughs> January. I get excited. I'm sorry. No, we love Listener Pick Month. All right. So here's the rules and how it works. You're going to get... Uh, Two weeks to submit movies no. mm -hmm. on our Facebook page, specifically yeah. on our Facebook page, which is Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. And you can go submit the movies there, and then we're going to put them up for a vote for, I believe, a week. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're going to watch the four top vote getting us yeah. movies mm -hmm. and we, that are on there. We have a couple asks. Obviously, you know what kind of movies we watch. Right. Mm -hmm. Make sure that these are movies that we can have access to. Yeah. Or if you got yeah. a link, hit us with the or link. Or if you have you know? a link, yeah, make sure that we are able to watch this yeah, movie. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you can at least look at our back catalog, make sure we haven't already done it. Yeah. <laughs> Just make Google sure the name it. of the movie with our podcast. Yeah. It'll come up. Make sure up. we haven't done it. Make yeah. sure we can do it. And also make sure that you only do three suggestions. Three yes. suggestions. You have a limit. Yeah. You can't just be like, I want you to watch everything. Yeah. No. Three. Three suggestions, mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. Or are we doing uh, one week to submit, two weeks to vote? No. Okay. Two weeks to submit, one week to vote. Bam, mm -hmm. there it is, mm -hmm. and we will watch them in January. So, yeah. This is your opportunity to shine. <laughs> this is or get vengeance if shit, you want, you know? Right. Yeah. You get, yeah, because the shit we're... If you've ever heard us on this show going, I, well, I will never watch that. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now is now your time, time. Yes. to right. make to us twist watch our arm. That. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Because it's Why are there, you doing this? Because you don't, Holly, this don't is what give we do. them ideas. This is what we do. <laughs> don't give them no. ideas. Holly, this is the time to give them ideas. No, it's not. This is for them. This is for the audience. This is for what no. they want. Yes. This is, oh, but, also, for us. but also maybe there's a really old episode that none of us were on that you would like to hear us talk about. Maybe suggest that too. I wouldn't be opposed to that. If you get through, I mean, we have, That's a, we have the okay, rules. Yeah. So if, if it's was, five years old, five and years old. Yeah. And at least two of us just were not, not present. Then you're not present. That's the rule. So if someone wants us to watch Tango and Cash again, <laughs> God damn it, I guess we will. Right. So, I mean, that's you know? the... That's the price so we have to pay. I, I'm yeah. willing to f fall on that sword, guys. We're, yeah. we're, cash, we're, we're you know? coming into a time of possibility. <laughs> and I want everyone to recognize <laughs> that. <laughs> Anything can happen in these next yeah. two months. There you go. <laughs> I so. love that outlook. <laughs> so that's over in our Facebook page yes. right now. Dream you can as go. Big as West Coast. Just look yes. for the yeah, yeah. look for the graphic <laughs> and, and submit away. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, <laughs> here's what we thought of tonight's movie, which was Deadly Friend, starting with Michaela. What do you think of Deadly Friend? I mean, I love a killer robot doll movie, you know, like already starting. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. You know, like it, it, it takes a lot for me to check out of that type of movie sure. just because like and yes, they're all kind of the same. Like the thing gets intelligence, then it gets bad intelligence and turns evil. And then it becomes like its prime directive is to protect its creator at all costs. Right. But which then it may have like a moment of sympathy. Yeah. But then it's going to be like, kill. but the protecting at all costs often comes with like a misinterpreted slight that <laughs> yes. becomes deadly. And I, you know, this, this, you know, we've been talking off mic lately about how, like, sometimes it's okay to do the same thing we've seen a million times and just do it well. Just sometimes it that good. is good enough, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, especially for horror fans, we watch especially the same movie a million fans. times. Yes. We, you as know? much as we're made fun of for, like, liking the same thing over and over again. It, Okay. It works. But if you do yeah. it well, yeah. yes, we'll like yeah, it. Exactly. Just do it well. Exactly. So, like, mm -hmm. I mean, this movie did some things I had never seen before on For top sure. of being, like, a tried and true trope that I love. Mm -hmm. uh, it is weird how, like, juvenile this, like, a lot of things are. And I kind of wish they hadn't done that. 
But also that was the original movie. I mean, but if I had seen this as a kid, oh my god, like it would have fucked me up, and it would have like been formative for me right yeah, you know right. like because the kid stuff and the friendship stuff and the robot stuff draws you in yeah the fucking lady gets her head exploded yeah. with a basketball yeah <laughs> and then I you're would, traumatized i would have felt so life, deceived and then you're part of the free yeah. show i would have been like oh my god movies can be deceptive would have been my like first thought <laughs> watching this as a kid you know but and so i'm kind of sad that i didn't have like that that experience you know but man if people got kids from this movie show them this movie um uh i had a great time with it it was it, it did spend some time on things i'm like i'm not sure what the point of this mm-hmm. is yeah but um i mean I, I, Wes craven you can do a lot worse but we've done worse on this yeah. show of yeah. his movies um i loved it. it was great it had me laughing it was cheesy it was bad but it was gory and like it did surprise me like he did not fuck that robot and i am shocked that that didn't happen did yeah that robot. um yeah. I also didn't expect, you know, basketball to the head explosion kill either. So, I, I, yeah, it's awesome. I it, love it. You gotta I, recommend I think it. We, I, I don't you think know? we gave enough credit to the beginning, to the first half of this movie, where we laughed a lot. Yeah. Oh, Just yeah. based on the interactions oh, of what was going on. We didn't even we talk really about... really enjoyed it, I think. After the trip... BB's battery is low. So, <laughs> oh my god! We didn't even talk about this. I think there's moments yeah. that we forgot he, that we enjoyed so much at the there, very beginning. Yeah, he there plugs, was. Yeah, he there wasn't. In, there wasn't any like robot fucking, but there right. was he robot pleasure. Ro- there no, was robot right. pleasure. Yeah, he plugged like, oh, in. Oh, I'm gonna plug in. He plugged he, into this outlet and orgasmed to me. Not yeah. only did he, that, but he like whipped the piano out of the way <laughs> yeah he did. yeah and to like, fuck that out like this yeah. 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 yeah and he moaned and his eyes rolled back and yeah. he like wiggled and, and then he, he orgasmed yeah. and then he stopped to charge yeah yeah <laughs> that is what sleep. happened he went to sleep yeah yeah, yeah. he came <laughs> yep. and he went to sleep yep, yep. exactly and that wow we saw a robot exactly nutting in this movie you know yeah. <laughs> so i mean i gotta recommend yeah, just, it just just that the, alone just hear the r2d2 wow yeah, but and that is even more, yeah, it's, yeah, but with like eye motions going with it, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to recommend it. Eyes fluttered, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled to the back of his head yeah. when he plugged into that outlet. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to recommend it. It's fucking awesome. I loved it. Holly, what do you think? Yeah, um, the I didn't know much about this movie. I would just knew mm-hmm. about the basketball scene. Um, yep. so th- yeah, I feel like it's a it's a forgotten Wes Craven movie about a zombie robot. <laughs> Like you have to watch that, right? And with that ending, man. Yeah, I mean, there, there's surprising shit in this movie, and you know, Michaela, you said it. We've mm-hmm. watched some other Wes Craven movies that were really boring and mm-hmm. not anything to write home about, but this one is, despite like the the drawn out moments that we didn't need, because there are some some slow parts of this movie and some silly, weird, tonally confused parts of this movie. <laughs> um, a lot of it just doesn't make sense, mm-hmm. but. The gore and the ridiculousness, it's its a spectacle to be seen. Like, you have to experience this movie. It's ridiculous. I ugh, That basketball scene. I feel like we can't explain how wonderful it is. Mm. It's like scanners, yeah. right? It's like mm-hmm. the basketball goes flying, and it's a scanners moment. And then... Just two weeks in a row, we have a good head yeah. explosion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the body, like, stumbling around, spewing out blood. I love a, 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 a it's, headless it's body great. stumbling. great. Yeah. I love headless body stumbling. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. So, but despite like, the problems with this movie, it's a fun time. And like I said earlier, to, you just got to accept the ride. Just go along with it. Don't question anything. Just go with it. But yeah, I'm, Rebecca, I'm recommending the hell out of it. Colin. Uh, yeah, I'm the Debbie Downer on this one. I it did not, I was like, it was deadly boring. Uh, it, I mean, it, it totally, can, you know, for the pace, it like, it takes forever on these scenes where they're trying to poison the mom, where they're trying to get into the, the, uh, hospital to get her body. I mean, it's like, it just goes on forever. And yeah, it's a foregone conclusion. It's an hour before like the actual movie starts. And then you get a couple of kills and only one of them which is that basketball scene. Yeah. Like that's the only reason to see this movie. And thank God there's a meme where you can watch it. But the rest of it is like, everybody's over the top. None of the logic makes any kind of sense. I hated, I just, I don't like, I guess the, uh, the robot friend, you know, storyline, unless it's like done well, on like Terminator two or something like that, where I could actually buy it. Maybe that's it. It's a problem I have. I just don't buy it. It seems stupid to me. Yeah. And a lot of this movie just came off as like, this is like really dumb. And Again, you don't like childish movies. 
Yeah, maybe not because I can't remember what I thought of Mac and Me. I think like that movie was that, just like I mean that was that, zonked, rough. that was know? something else. <laughs> yeah, that's. But yeah, maybe that's yeah. It, it, so that makes it really totally inconsistent. Where you mm-hmm. got like super gory, you know, deaths in what's basically an '80s kids movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It. Uh, no, I halfway through this movie, I didn't know if I was going to recommend it or not. And so what I, brought I, you mm-hmm. around? It was, I mean, because her walking around acting like a robot, like mm-hmm. I just was like, this is just dumb. It's a girl with a Tom. Yeah. Tom got me through this movie. Honestly, yeah, I love Tom, and it's the basketball scene and the very last scene in the movie. Oh, park. come on. That, oh, that, that it, it tied it for me. I was like, you know what? This is this is crazy enough that you should watch if it. If you end well. She birthed a robot. It didn't end well. It was like, it uh, made no sense. It was like, what is happening? But happened? none this of this is, movie okay, makes okay, sense. Okay, Colin. And they, <laughs> They they put a they they laid a computer chip on top of her brain. Oh, they, and then they she was. In, there was uh, prongs. It was most of the way through. Uh, her brain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is why. This I, is me trying to defend. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, like, yeah. This is was, why I said no, you have like you have to go into this movie just accepting it's ridiculous. Yeah. It makes no sense. I couldn't do it. If I guess I couldn't it, make yeah. that leap. I didn't like it when I first saw it. I thought it was horrible, and I thought it was really bad. <laughs> this time around, I was like, ugh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Sean, what do you think? Uh, I don't think this movie is fantastic, but also I've seen enough movies down here where I have been bored for an hour straight until the movie picked up, and that never happened for me in this movie. So I'm going to recommend it because I was interested in these characters, and it it is totally a very weird movie, and maybe, uh, I mean... Uh, knowing the background of it, of of what Wes Craven and the writer wanted to make versus what the studio ended up coming down and saying, hey, uh, this is not what you're known for. You need to make this different and more your tone, quote unquote, for Wes Craven. Um, yeah, it's it's a weird movie, but that robot, I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm a sucker for a robot who's just kind of happening around. Like I, you know, I love short circuit, like Rocky I'll, Four. Yeah, I, I love, love that Ro- robot. I love Rocky. Ford. <laughs> I love that robot. I, I, think, I think that is what does it because for the first half of the movie, I'm a sucker for that robot because I like what he's doing. I like just the little gibberish shit and he's talking what? and commenting. I love that. Love it. Ugh. I think it's so entertaining and just so offhandedly funny that he's just reacting to all the shit in the background. And he's always got a comment <laughs> for it. Love it. And I think I think that might be the big thing that separates what you thought of it, or just like, Ugh. but <laughs> I like that. Ta- what's he saying? Nothing. But, 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 but it's just. I, it's do, just you, cute do you not like R two D two? It's the same thing. Like he is, he is talking in a language though that C three PO understands. Like this robot the, talks not like you, a not you. gremlin. There's not another there's robot. No, there's not there's another robot to, under- to understand. There's it. more to understand from this from BB than there is from R2D2. I understood way more from BB than R2D2. I understood more from this, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> more from this robot. <laughs> and I think that may be it. I think if you like the robot, you're good with this movie because because yeah, uh, robot is on par with like the minions. Yes, and that's what I said. They're not just speaking like, like a language no, that we know, but, but we know under- what they're saying. You know what they're yeah. saying, and you understand it. <laughs> and they're also funny for that first half of this movie. And I think it. And the Colin's <laughs> out on that. I can see it from his face West right now. Craven's comedy movie, <laughs> right? But I think if you're out on that, you won't like this movie. But I was in on that because it was just. It's just fun. I like that kind of cute shit. I'm okay with it. I like a cute <laughs> robot who's just doing shit. And then we get into the evil stuff. So the first half is set with that, and then the second half is set with a few more. Uh, you know, gory moments and um, just kind of more Frankenstein. And I don't want to give too much to Frankenstein because Frankenstein's, you know, uh, I, th- I think better than this. But there are certain elements. <laughs> but, well, there are certain elements of this that kind of lend itself to that, which um, I also find entertaining. So yeah, I like this movie. I thought I was entertained by it. Um, uh, where it went. So yeah, I'm gonna recommend uh, West Craven's Deadly Friend. Uh, I like that robot. <laughs> and I like where we went with it. And then we ended with a robot coming out of a human body. Yeah, weird. <laughs> but I like it. So I'm going to recommend Deadly Friend. All right. There so it's a Deadly Friend on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Head over <laughs> to our Facebook page and suggest a movie or two or yes, three. Yes, please. Uh, three at maximum. We need to know what next week's movie <laughs> is going to be. What are we watching next week? Holly, what uh, are we going to watch next week? Well, we would be remiss if we didn't watch at least one holiday movie. Where so, are we? Oh, we're in December. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I didn't it's, exactly pick a Christmas, Christmas movie. So wow, I forgot. We have to yeah. at least watch one. Okay, let's go we're for gonna it. We're going to watch Scent, 
otherwise known as Saint. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Okay. I All have right. no I idea what I this is. I don't know anything about this. It's All like right. a Norwegian. Dutch. I think it's Dutch. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch is Saint. In the U.S., it is Saint. Sinter- it's Santa Claus. It is yeah. Saint Nicholas. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Correct. Okay. All right. With a big right. pope hat. You know, oh, hopefully, uh, does he murder people with his pop hat? <laughs> we'll get into it next okay. week. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.